To solve a triangle means to find all of the sides and all of the angles. In this triangle, we're given two of the sides, so we have a 7 and we have a 25, we know those values, and we have a right angle. So we know one of the angles and we know two of the sides and we have to figure everything else out. Now, every question will be different, so there's no one way to always proceed. In this particular case, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the other side. Um, I'll call it x. So we can see that x squared plus 7 squared must equal 25 squared. And so x squared plus 49 is equal to 625. So x squared is equal to 625 minus 49. So x squared is equal to 576. So x is equal to the square root of 576, which is exactly 24. Okay, so we figured out the side that we were missing. Now we have to figure out the other two angles. We have a small angle up in this corner, and we have a pretty big angle down in this corner over here. It doesn't matter which one we solve for first, so I will just randomly choose to solve for angle B first. We can see that we, we know all three sides, so it really won't matter whether we use sine or cosine or tangent function here. But usually, you'd want to stick with the numbers that you were given in the problem, because they're usually more exact. So I'm going to use the 25 and the 7, which are, compared to angle B, opposite and hypotenuse. So that sounds like a job for the sine function. Sine of angle B is therefore equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to 7 over 25, which means that B is equal to the inverse sine of 7 over 25. What's that equal to? Well, we need to do 7 divided by 25, and then press inverse sine. So I'm getting 16.3 degrees if we round off. 16.3 degrees for B. Now it's easy to figure out angle C. Angle C, we can use the angle sum of the triangle being 180. So it's going to be 180 degrees minus the 90 degrees from angle D minus the 16.3 degrees from angle B. So angle C will work out to be 73.7 degrees. And now we've solved the triangle completely because we have the value for x, we have the value for angle B, and we have the value for angle C.